grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. Dear friends, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Roger and Patty, to surround them with our prayers, and to share in their joy. The scriptures teach us that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift of God in which a man and a woman are joined as one, an image of the union of Christ and the church. As Roger and Patty make their promises to each other today, we remember that at Cana and Galilee, our Lord Jesus Christ made the wedding feast the sign of God's reign of love. Let us enter into this celebration confident that, through the Holy Spirit, Christ is present with us now also. We pray that this couple may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their lives. We were ready to have some questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roger, will you receive Patty as your wife and bind yourself to her in covenant and marriage? Will you promise to love and honor her in true devotion, to rejoice with her in times of gladness, to grieve with her in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Will you receive Roger as your husband and bind yourself to him in the covenant of marriage? Will you promise to love and honor him in true devotion, to rejoice with him in times of gladness, to grieve with him in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. So, so all of you, that's all of you gathered here, that means all of you on Zoom and on Facebook, by God's grace, uphold and care for Roger and Patty in your life together. If so, say we will. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son Jesus Christ into the world to reveal your love to all people. Enrich Roger and Patty with every good gift. That their life may show forth your love. And grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So the gospel for today is from Luke, the 12th chapter. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the great they neither sow nor reap, they have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. But how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you by worrying add a single understanding of life? If then you, you are not able to do a small, do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Yet I tell you, even Solomon, his glory is not clothed like one of these. But God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. How much more will, will he clothe you, you of little hair? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things. And your Father knows that you need them. He says, strive for this kingdom. And these things will be given to you as well. So I'll just tell you that I picked that scripture because I know you've been worrying about some of those earthly things these last weeks. You've been doing a lot of painting, you've been doing a lot of trim molding around the house, you've got a whole apartment to move, you've got two households to bring together. And so I guess if you've been worrying just a little bit about it, maybe not too much, but a little bit. But the reminder here, and I think the reminder for all of us, is those very, is that very last line. Is, is, is to instead strive for his kingdom. And these things will be given to you as well. Now, I know that for both of you, uh, God plays a very important role in your life. God has a very important place. And your relationship is built on that foundation. I mean, you met us that long for the first time. So we give thanks for uh, for God's word bringing you together in that way, bringing you to this time. Now I know that this is a little bit strange. Some of you, some of your friends, and they might have gotten that email and thought they're getting it already. I thought it would be 
be very honest. But I think you guys are making a wise choice. When the time comes and you know that you're marrying the right person, uh, then there's no need to wait for some later day out in the future. Today is a good day. And today is a good day for the two of you to be joining together in the future. I'm excited to do this and to be part of this and to celebrate with you. And I know that there's a whole group of people watching that are excited and uh, wanting to celebrate with you as well. Um, because we can all recognize that when we see God's presence in people's lives and we see God bring two people together, um, all we want for them is the best uh, joy and happiness uh, for the years to come. And so we ask for that blessing on both of you as well. That God be with you uh, for as many years as you have together and, and just the joy and, and love that you can have. God promises to be with each one of us in our lives, in our waking, in our sleeping, in our dying, in our rising, in all of these things. God promises to be with us, and God makes that promise to you today as well. God will be with you in everything that you go through, everything that you are, everything that you will be um, in the years to come. And so we give thanks for that as well. I just know that this day, um, this day is important. This day is, is wonderful, it's beautiful, and I'm glad that everyone is here to join in that as well. So I think that's all I'm going to say. No one remembers what the pastor said in the English So, why don't you hand off your and Let's get down to the good stuff. Now, you can turn toward me, though. Okay. Hold hands. Um, whoever's got rings, we can ask about for you up there. Okay. You've got rings, okay? I'll need those in a minute. Uh, I'm just on a short leash. So Roger and Patty, I invite you to, to declare your vows to one another. So Roger, repeat after me. And look at her. Not me. <laughs> I take you, Patty, to be my wife. I take you, Patty, to be my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. To join with you. To join with you. And share all that is to come. And share all that is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you until death parts us. Until death parts us. I take you, Roger, to be my husband. I take you, Roger, to be my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. To join with you. To join with you. And share all that is to come. And share all that is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you until death parts until that part says. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God of grace, for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promise Roger and Patty have made with each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, Patty, I give you this ring. Patty, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. You both take a step this time. I'm also in the Caribbean. They see you and they can't find it. Roger, I give you this ring. Roger, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Roger and Patty, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Thanks be to you. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to endure the cross for our sake. 
that we may have abundance of life. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing on Roger and Patty. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let your love be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them so that their lives together may bear witness to your love. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their, in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. So as we pray the prayers of the church today, I will say, gracious and faithful God, you respond to hear our prayer. Seeing how greatly God has loved us, let us pray for the whole world, for the Christian community everywhere, for the life and ministry of the baptized, and for all servants of the gospel, that the church may be the risen body of Christ in the world. Gracious and faithful God, Okay. For all who are joined by bonds of marriage, kinship, and friendship, and for communities everywhere, for the nations, for all those who govern, and for justice and peace throughout the world. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. prayer. For those we love easily, and for those with whom we struggle, for those different from us, and for those familiar to us, that we might be instruments of God's peace. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in any way, and those who are lonely, for the sick, the dying, and those who are bereaved, for those who are poor, hungry, homeless, or unemployed, for the victims of violence, hatred, and intolerance. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. For all those who are joined to us in love, for our families, friends, and neighbors, for those separated from us by distance or discord, and giving thanks also for those who have gone before us, gracious and faithful God. Hear our prayer. Creator of all, you make us in your image and likeness, and fill us with everlasting life. Hear the prayers of your people, and grant to Roger and Patty grace to live in unity and joy all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and praise forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may the peace of Christ be with you always. And so with you. This is the moment of the two we get to kiss and seal. Now receive this blessing. God Almighty sent you light and truth to keep you all the days of your life. The hand of God protects you. The holy angels accompany you, and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. So, I would like to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Roger and Patty Hall. I'm going to take my microphone off, and if you guys want to come around, you guys can see who's all been part of this. Give me a second. So, let's see, Deanna, can you... 
I guess I can't see you right here, but now, can you hear, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you, you all me? see? Can you all see me? I guess. Yes. Okay. Do you want me? To see everybody. Yeah, you can unmute them so they can say hi. Um, they're going to need to just kind of so you can see yourself oh here a little gosh. bit. Be careful that moves. Be careful, guys. Don't all scream at once. Come over here. Come sit over here. Come sit over here. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations, Love you. Congratulations, Patty. Oh, happy day. Uh, hey, happy for you, Patty. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you guys. Oh, there we go. Hi, Patty. Hi, Bill. I don't know how people are writing things. Let me unmute you guys for a second. Glad you could join us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. So Deanna, you can go ahead and stop the meeting. Okay. Thank you.